This is my mini Starlink or mini Starlink chopping board. You'd be surprised how much room this actually takes up. That's why I got this magnet mount or oh, chopping board <laughs> should go in this. Oh, these need doing up, they're a bit loose. Yeah, it's pretty solid in there. Don't think that's gonna fall off the roof. <clears throat> this, we need 240 volts for, to make this power brick work. And they're quite power hungry. This is a simple transformer. So this is gonna take 12 volts and turn it into 30 volts to power our Starlink. I'm gonna use these connector blocks just like my granddad did during the war. The one thing that really interests me is how more efficient this is compared to the original. 26. Okay, so it's bouncing between 26 and 27 watts. That's not a lot at all. I'm really, I'm quite happy with that. I'll put that right there on that nice flat piece of the roof. Crikey. I need to hold these wires and solder them at the same time. So we hold these two wires together like that, side by side. Oh, get on there. There you go. Nice semi-professional join. <laughs> There you go, not the prettiest, but it'll work. Well done, Jackery, save me running an extension lead up here. Theoretically, if I flick this switch, we should have Starlink satellite connection. There we are, we are connected, we are online. Bloody brilliant. But have I just wasted my time? Could I have just used the little Jackery Explorer 500 and saved myself all this trouble? Potentially, yes, but I guess the good thing is now that I've got it all installed, it's permanently fixed to my van, semi permanently because it's on magnets. If I do want to use my Starlink dish in any other of my other camper vans, I can simply unplug the Starlink, take it off the roof of this van, grab me little Jackery 500 Explorer, and go off exploring and still make videos and upload them for your viewing pleasure. <laughs> <laughs>